So what is nice about this is Google is you can customize everything. So I did have a uh, before I put that wallpaper on. I just had that wallpaper on to show you the uh, that it wasn't gonna slow your stuff down. But let me put the wallpaper on that I had originally. Uh, while we're in this picture view, uh, if you didn't know that you can do this with your pictures, that's kind of nice. Useful? No. Cool? Yes. Uh, you can do that. Let me put the background on that I had before. Not the Spider-Man background. Where is it? Can I find the background that I had? Or am I just tripping? 37 wallpapers. Oh, here it is. I had this one on there. Uh, for wallpapers, I would say Zedge. That's the program that I use. They have mass wallpapers. Uh, that's the program that I use for Zedge. This launcher is called uh, Launcher Pro. So Launcher Pro will enable you to have decide on what icons on the bottom and let you change uh, like a the glow feature you can go ahead and look those up like in the video I already have a tutorial on that this clock is beautiful widgets and what's nice about the beautiful widgets is you just add some nice animation so let me turn this phone off that's what's cool about the gingerbread the animation on and off um, for cyanogen it'll let you change the background for the lock screen and it'll let you change the background for the home screen so if you look hopefully the sun see the sun already came up that's part of beautiful widgets. It has some nice animations. Depending on if it's raining or if it's cloudy, though you'll have different ones. Um, you can click the weather thing to get the forecast. Uh, you can select what shortcuts go to what, so that's nice customizable. I hit the clock, it takes me to the alarm. If I hit the date, it takes me to my calendar. So you can see your appointments. And what's also nice about this thing is it has crazy amount of skins. Um, well, let me just do clock skin. I just go to all. Uh, I'm about to show off, showcase the speed of this device off again. Uh, I mean, look at all these skins. It's definitely worth the three dollars to go ahead and get this app. And I appreciate all the developers that. Uh, developer for this app and developers that put all their hard work into making these skins it's nice so that's what that's what's uh there's one app you can download to make your phone more customizable um this text messaging widget that's part of launcher pro also and or speaking of texting uh here's the basic stock messaging widget uh i know stock is normally black but or white but i signed in so i made mine black but there's some stuff that i you just can't do with this so I prefer to use uh, I prefer to use oh man Hansen so Hansen what's nice about Hansen is you can customize everything like you want to change this background to purple or pink or blue or yellow you can do that you can change the font you can change like just so much for this and also for uh, if you don't like people reading your phone or you got somebody who's kind of nosy on your phone, you can set certain messages to be private and you can't get to them without typing in a password. So I guess I could show you that real fast. Uh, messaging and then you hit the star and there we go, private box and they can't get into it without typing the password in. And when you get a pa uh, message from somebody that you put in your, in the private, it won't show the message up here. It'll just say up here. It'll just say private message received. It won't show you who it's from. It won't show you the message at all. So that's nice. Uh, um, there's the basic dialer. You know, it's, it's pretty fast. Uh, the only thing I don't like is that let's say I want to find somebody. Like I said, cafeteria, like CAF. It won't auto look up, which uh, is kind of messed up. So it is nice if you download this app. You can do that. Cafeteria and it comes up. If 
you want to put that on your phone, that's free. Uh, got the plume widget. So like I said, just go ahead and customize it to. Let's go in the market and look what you can find. Um, if you got any other questions on what apps I'm using, I'll definitely uh, let you know, or I'll make a tutorial on how to customize it a little bit more. I was gonna show you something else real fast. Um, oh, I was gonna show you the. There's a front-facing camera right there, right there. And I don't know if a lot of people use this, but Google Talk uses utilizes the front-facing camera. So let's say uh, I'm gonna go ahead and find Tech Temple. And as long as you can see somebody right there with a little video camera icon, it'll come up. You can video chat with them. Uh, they might have a microphone icon that will just let you know that you can only do voice chat with them, which is still nice because it's kind of like if you run out of minutes, you can still voice call for free. And if you hit the uh, that, and it'll it'll ring. So let me go to my computer and answer that. So I just answer that at the top of my chair. Um, there's a camera. I have, I have, I don't have it on landscape, so that's why it's showing this way. But I mean, it's pretty smooth, and it's kind of nice feature that they have. And then you just get in and get out. They can still talk to you, like either verbally or through text. They can still talk to you, but you can uh, if you do, if you decide to text back, it'll take you out of the video portion, and then it'll let you switch right back. Well, I guess while we're in here, we can I can show you the keyboard. This is the stock keyboard. Um, people like to use the quick brown fox, but I like to use what in the world oh. are you doing? Man, it's kind of hard with the tripod in the way. Um, it is multi-touch, so let's say you're in lowercase and you just want to make a couple letters capitalized and you want to go back to lowercase you just hold the uh, shift button and it will switch back and forth um, highlighting it's nice because it'll let you you don't need a you don't have a trackpad so this is the easiest way to get in between words and it'll let you delete everything and if you're in a browser and you want to delete and you want to copy paste stuff uh, I'll show you that real quick Let's go into uh, worldtechtemple.com. Uh, right now, I'm on uh, Wi Fi. I'm not on 3G just because it's a lot faster since I have a wireless and router. Uh, Sorry, downloading. Um, it's pretty smooth. Pinch to zoom is real, real smooth. Um, what's nice if you get signage in. I know if you just have the uh, stock, if you just zoom in and double tap, it'll it'll reflow. But let's say you want to zoom in a little more. If you do this on the stock, it won't reflow all the way through like that. But this does. Um, so let's say I want to select some text. So let's say. Um, um, somebody made a testimonial about one of my videos, and I want to copy some text. So what you do is you just hold, and this comes up. And let's say I just want to get like this last uh, this last sentence. And the copy just double tap, and it just copies it already. And then show you that it did get copied. I'm just gonna paste it up here. So there it is. It is. It did, it did go up there. But the keyboard's pretty quick. Um, I haven't had any slowdown issues with this really. Like even on one of the most, I'll show you this background. And if this, if this background doesn't slow this phone down, I don't know what else would. Um, wallpaper. Live wallpaper. And let's try this uh, flux wallpaper. It's free. 
and you see that animation and let me set that uh, still my cube is still fine no slowdown and there's still a pinch to zoom I mean this is, I wish you could see this screen uh, let me turn the brightness up so you can see a little more because I had noticed in somebody's video they didn't uh, turn the brightness up I think believe that's all the way up hopefully it's not looking too washed out but that is a nice looking screen That's an overview. Um, like I said, customize it to the best of your ability.